Chrisette Michelle and, and Travis Green, they were one of the only African Americans that performed at Trump's inauguration. And, and people were, were, were really mad. You know, these, you know, these African American performers would perform at their, at, at, at Trump's inauguration. I mean, they, you know, and then they was, they were sending them nasty emails and they was, I mean, both of them they were receiving uh, 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 horrible, you know, texts and Twitter and everything. And so I, I began looking at this and, and, and because I began to see something that was, that was different between what was happening between the two. And I just want to share something with you. See, see when, when they first started, Travis Green said this, and y'all know him, he, he, he sings a song, he's intentional. You made a way, you know, gospel singer, Christian, you know. And when they did sing, and you can look at it, they sung, a, they sung intentional at the Trump inauguration. I mean, he got up there because I needed to see it. He, he got up there and he said, whoo, praises to Jesus Christ. And, you know, he, you know, he, he just, he talked about the Lord. Well, he said this, he said, he, he, he said he almost allowed the fear of man to stop him from performing at one of President Trump's inaugural balls uh, at the swearing-in ceremony. And then he said, and then he said, no, I'm, 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 not going, I'm, I'm not going to do it because of fear of man. But once I put prayer behind that, it just didn't hold up very strongly, he said. It was an absolute carnal response to what I believe was a spiritual door. And then he said this, he said, I asked myself three questions. When I was first given this invitation, and I prayed real hard about it. I asked, would I do it for free? The answer was yes. Would I do it if no one would watch? The answer was yes. And the last question, what would Jesus do? And he said, I believe he would go. And that was, you know, and, and that what, that, that's what he, what he said. And he did. He said, I'm just going to take the love of Christ to them. You know, and I'm going to sing. And so he, did, he began to say, I'm not going to care. I don't care what man would do to me. I'm going to do it and I'm going to lift up God, right? Okay, look, look. Chrisette Michelle became, she, she, she also uh, uh, got just as much crit criticism, right? Now, he was a Christian, she wasn't. She, she began to defend her, her actions by suggesting that it would be an olive branch for change. He said, we can either shift for love or we can shift for this division, right? And I'm not going to say she's not a Christian, but I'm going to say that you let me know at the, at the end. This recently, November 2nd, now this all happened in January, right? We all know when they're not great. January 2nd, Travis Green is continually, continuing to release new songs. He's going, he's going up on the chart. He's not, nothing has happened to him. Chrisette Michelle lost her recording contract. She had a, was going to be on Spike Lee's movie, uh, her, his TV series, and, and music on his TV series. She lost that. She said, I, the stress, she began to, she was looking at everything that people were saying about her. She said, the stress made her have a miscarriage. The stress just, just, it just stressed her out, right? And then so she said, I deeply regret my performance. And she said it was for love, right? But now, all of this stuff came out of her. I deeply regret my performance and revealed the devastating toll and backlash that, that it took on, uh, on her health. I regret everything that happened. I think it was a bad choice. A lot of times when, when you have a message of hope, a lot of times when you have a message of healing, you think, you know, maybe it's a self-righteous thing. Maybe it's a mistake to feel that way. But you think, man, if I just tell people everything is okay, it's going it's to be okay. He had a message of love of Jesus Christ. She just thought she could just give a good message of hope. She was an R&B singer. He was a Christian singer. She didn't have the strength to do what she, want, what she was wanting to do. And just, she, she, you know, she had a good idea, but he had a God idea. And because he had a God idea, he said, I don't care what you say about me. I'm free from y'all. I follow God. I do what's right in his sight. 
She said, I wanted, I wanted to do a good thing, but, but the people are bothering me. The people are making, stressing me out. The people are saying bad things about me, and I don't, now I'm, I'm allowing it to affect my health. I'm a, see, the devil said, I can mess with you because you're not real. I can mess with you because you, you believe more in what the people say than what God says, so I can get you. Travis Green said, I don't care what y'all say. This was a door that was opened by God. I'm going to walk through it. See, the thing is, when you're free, you are free to do what's pleasing in God's sight. You're not free to do what the world wants you to do. You're not free to be controlled by the world. I'm free to do things outside of what the world thinks of me. Free to do what's right in the sight of God. So we want to keep her in prayer because she's just continually to go through, and she's lost. She's like, well, I only reason. And at the end of it, she said, the only reason I made it through was because of yoga. That's what she said, because of yoga. She didn't even mention God. She didn't even mention Jesus Christ. And you could, you could see the react, what happened in her life. She didn't have God in her life. But yet she got up on stage, and they, she sung with Travis Green, sung the Christian song. So you, you, can, you can do Christian stuff, but unless you're real, it's not going to help you. It's not going to help you. Come on, we're standing. Oh, thank you, Jesus. My last scripture is this. 1 John 2, 15, 16. Don't love the things, don't love this world nor the things it offers you. For when you love the world, you do not have the love of the Father in you. For the world offers only a craving for physical pleasure, a craving for everything we see, and pride in our achievements and possessions. These are not from the Father, but are from this world. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when, I, when, when we sing, I'm free, be free.